Hi everyone, this is CVGS. Today it's me, Leon, bringing you a idol box unboxing video. Usually it will be Dempster that will be doing this, but he is not available, so I'll be doing it in his state. Although it's kind of awkward because I'm very, very little knowledge about idols, but I'll do my best for you guys. Alright, so introducing the SD50 collaboration booster, uh, sorry, boosters, yeah. The Mega Deck, uh, well, Mega Deck even, is the SD, okay, which is a collaboration set between the Battle Spirit Idol series and Aikatsu. Uh, introducing also three new keywords, which is the Aikatsu on stage, Boon on stage, as well as Appeal. In case for those who doesn't know what Aikatsu is, Aikatsu is a, de uh, is a data card card uh, arcade game where player uses a series of data cards and scan it onto the game system to put on costume for the characters for bonus scoring as well as play a short rhythm game. And wow, they ha actually have an anime that has been airing uh, since 2012. Okay, which if you wish to know more, do check out their current season Aikatsu on Parade to know more. And also to note that the collaboration set now also comes with two different block colors, which is red. And they can be easily differentiate, uh, differentiate shape from the BS main set. If you look down here, all right, there's this uh, red icon instead of the usual blue. But this is a new implementation that's coming from this set onwards. So maybe if you notice that the upcoming BS uh, is a CD, uh, sorry, CD, uh, CB10 will also have the red color uh, indication. So yeah, let's look at the contents of the uh, B uh, the SD50. So Aikatsu uh, Hajiman, uh, Hajimaru no Gakuen, okay, also Aikatsu uh, New Start at the Academy, were contained 40 cards there, okay, with 5 campaign cards. So total there is 16 title cards plus the 5 campaign cards. So there is 2 X rares, 2 Master rares, 4 rares and 8 comments. So uh, and plus on top with the 5 CP. Also containing uh, 30 blue cores as well as one so called and a playmat for you to get started. Alright, so this is all the con the con uh, all the contents at the back. Oh my god, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> okay. So let's just have a quick look on how the look the inside looks like. So ah, my nose is cheap. <laughs> Talk about bad timer. I'm trying so hard not to sneeze guys. <laughs> so Oh, I actually missed out. There's actually a sleeve inside. Oh, this sleeve actually looks pretty cute. Oh my god, this is actually nice. So yeah, there you have the sleeves as well as the uh, CPs and the cores for the Grand Walkers. There's a lot of core. The deck and finally the soul core. So yeah. As to what's the content on inside of the cards, we will, we will now proceed to unpack everything and we'll see you in the, in the next moment. Alright, we'll see you in a while. And now we are back. So before we start looking at the cards, just, just enjoy the moment of how unique their playmat is. Much like the Kamen Rider uh, collaboration uh, structure uh, SDs, they also have a unique playmat on their own, which features the extras from the SD deck itself. So okay, let's just have a look at what we're going to introduce you today. So we're going to be bringing out 4 cards, 2 cards from the deck itself which are the X-Rest and 2 from the Campaign Rest which are the Grand Walker Nexus. So these are the things that you really will want to pay attention to. So I'll be starting from the right side which is the x ray itself, number 1. So this is the Aurora Kiss uh, Court, Hoshimiya Ichigo. Okay, so she's an idol, diva and stage style for her family. So her abilities are the following, level 1, 2 and 3. Oh, right, forgot to mention that if you want to know more details of, of the rest of the cards from the set, do visit World of Cards, the description is all in the links below. Uh, so if you are looking out for any particular cards that is from the set, do check out there, we all, they have all the translation there, right there for you. Okay, and also just take note of this entire set, it's also a full foil set, so you may want to check out even more further. So anyways, getting back to this, so when uh, her level 1, 2 and 3 during the attack step, uh, when the battle of your spirits from the family idol and stage style ends, send one call from your opponent's life to the reserve. Oh, okay, straight away, that's off to a strong start, alright. Level 2 and 3, appeal when this spirit attacks by sending your so call from this spirit to your trash. This spirit is unaffected by opposing effects. And level 3, during your turn, all your Hoshimiya Ichigo slash Kiriya Aoi and Shibuki Ren adds one additional yellow symbol. So she actually does pump out a lot of power and she is a very aggressive yellow card. I haven't seen such an aggressive yellow card since uh, the Isis deck itself. Wow, she is very aggressive. All right, moving on to the next character, which is the uh, Royal Moon Court, uh, Kanzaki Mizuki. 
So, okay, let's see. She's also a idol, diva, and state style. So her ability is a flash radiant descent onto another uh, Kanzaki uh, Mizuki card. So it doesn't have any cost requirement, so it just has to be the name. So same thing, you send your console call to the trash to set this card on top of that spirit. Okay, so level 1, 2, and 3, when this spirit is summoned, this sends a uh, sentry opposing spirit to the bottom of your opponent's deck in any order. Dissension, uh, level 3, appeal when this spirit attacks by sending a soul call from this spirit to your trash. During this turn, your opponent cannot play any card from their hand or open zone. So basically, this card works as a counter to a lot uh, to prevent your opponent from doing any form of counter as well. So it's like a counter to your counter. So yeah. Alright. So this is also a very powerful card in conjunction with each other. Alright. So moving on, next is the RD uh, campaign rest. So looking at the first uh, Grand Walker Nexus, which is the Shinomiya here. Okay, so this is the Grand Walker for the set itself. Alright, uh, Mitsushi uh, Oruhime. So she is a Grand Walker idol. So she charges on idol and cost 3 or higher. So that you charge 1 based on those requirements. So her Grand Force is a level 1. Then two flash for five costs. Okay, so by doing so, you send five costs through the nexus to the void. Refresh all your spirit from the family idol. During this turn, this nexus can be treat also treated as a spirit of level one and two. BP three thousand can only be destroyed by a Grand Walker nexus. This effect can only be used once per game. Okay, moving on to her grand skill is two costs level two flash. So your opponents are during your opponents attack step. By sending two cards from this nexus to the void, refresh one of your spirit from the family state style. So she's a bit like Barone, uh, where she can help to refresh spirit and her grand force refreshes all of your idol spirits. So that means after a series of bombardment from this two, next she will just refresh everybody. Uh, however, take note that she's five cards to use that ability, so you may want to watch the timing a little bit on that. So moving on to the last grand walker, which is uh, Johnny Depp. Okay, Johnny Depp. So this is, uh, it's quite clear who they reference this off to. So, okay, so he's also a Grand Walker as well, Idol. So he is charging on Idols that is cost 3 or higher, which is the same kind of a charge. Alright, so he is more of the support type. So Grand Field, level 1 and 2. During your main set, if you summon 5 or less in your... Uh, oh, sorry, if you have 5 or less cards in your hand, when you summon a Spirit from the family Idol and School Style, Draw one card from your deck. This effect cannot be duplicated. So if you have two, you cannot do that. So next thing is, uh, you cannot like draw two. Lah. So the grand skill level two, cost two. So send two cards from the nexus to the void. Uh, you can treat one of your level, uh, treat the level of one of your spirit from the family idol by plus one. So they become, let's say it's a level two card, it becomes a level three. If it's a level one, it becomes a level two. So this is actually quite interesting. So it plays very important to what you're using. And if you do not have enough cost to maintain somebody on a certain level, you can use uh, Johnny's ability to bring it up to speed. So yeah, and that is all the cards that is on this uh, set for you. So just uh, if you like what you see here today, do remember to ring a bell on all our, uh, on our channel today to keep uh, so we keep you posted for all our videos. And do follow us on all our socials, which is on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Discord. We will be there for the most nights. Even if we are not there, we also have uh, an awesome community that you guys can chit chat with. So with that said, uh, thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.